Both teams lined up in the face-off circle. Referee Gilles Lebec ready to drop the puck on this hockey ultimate team matchup. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro set to call the action. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Maple Leafs take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Goalie with a stop. Shesterkin's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Austin Matthews won the Calder Trophy in his rookie year and has gone on to win the Rocket Richard Trophy, guys. He's playing in his very first game with this Hut team, and he'll be a big producer for this squad going forward. Here's a short pass to Keller. Goes right to the crease. That's turned away with the pad by Fleury. Oh, there's one more. Carlson stick handling in his own zone. And that pass can't connect. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Sagan. Grabs it in his own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Keller is going to play it against the half wall. Nice pass. Carlson swooping in on the attack. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Quick feed to Meyer. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a chance. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck. Taken by Marchand. Toronto's got control of the puck. Moves it to McKinnon. And they won't connect on that one. Moved out in front. Nothing. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Moving into the attacking zone. A chance in front. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it. Great extension on the play. Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. On the attack along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Latang. And that's knocked away. Quick pass to Eric Sinek. A shot. And that one's turned away. Oh, it stops him again. Gonna have to work a lot harder to beat him tonight, I guess. There's two excellent saves in a row. Keeps hold of the puck. Turned aside with the glove by Shusterkin. Goalies love making the glove save, whether it's a great save or a rather run-of-the-mill one. They love to show you that they've caught it after they've put it away. Well past the midway mark of this period. Still no score in this one. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Oh, boy, here's trouble. Two on one. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. And that's broken up. That's gloved by Flurry. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Great glove save. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Dvorak's won the faceoff. Ellis carries the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. And now it's over to Dvorak. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Hamilton. Nylander's got it through the neutral zone. Manages to hang on. Oh, and a great save by Shesterkin. Drives to the sweet spot. Voracek's taking the puck behind his net. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. They go on the attack through center. Snaps one on net. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Feeds it over to Muzzin. Takes the feed. The Maple Leafs gain possession. Takes a hit on the play. Toronto's got it in the neutral zone. Sagan's got it against the boards. Slides it on over to Kane. Steps inside. Oh, what a move! He scores! Patrick Kane! The Maple Leafs get
get one late, that's got to feel good here at this time of the period. Oh, of course it does. You want to be in front anyway, but if you can take this lead into the intermission, now you've got something positive to build on. Gets a shot. Scores! The pinball type goal! That would be a perfectly placed shot. It hits the inside of the goal post and into the net. Now you just stop thinking about the first goal. Now you got another. That's 30 seconds apart. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. Puck is shot and play resumes. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Trying to clear the puck. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. for period number two, about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Nice dish from the left wing. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. And let's see what the call is. The Maple Leafs don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Puck picked up by Yandel. And he comes up with the save! Matthews is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Toronto's got it, and they're on the attack. What a save by Flurry! Here's a chance! Oh, and another save! Denies him! He's like a wall! Smothered that in close chance. Puts it up front! Incredible goaltending! Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. This shift is never gonna end. They keep the pressure on. Tries to get the puck over to Marchand. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Into the attacking area from the left side. Grabs control of it at the point. And he comes up with it. Flurry's been a strong link in the chain tonight. Everybody's pulling in the same direction. The offense has been excellent, too. Oh, flashes the leather to get a piece of it. Oh, wow, stops again. Shesterkin's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Gets the puck over to Burns. Gets it to the other point. The Maple Leafs gain control of it. He was locked in there. Dishes it to Marner. All alone! That's poked away! Bit of a risky move by the goaltender because if you don't get the poke check, you're out of position. Centering pass! Denies him in front.
Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Maple Leafs look around near the point. Can't connect on the pass. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Leafs gain control of the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Latang. Toronto's got it along the wall. And makes the save. Taken along the wall by McKinnon. Here's a shot. Stops him again. So good. A couple of quick stops to keep the puck out. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Leafs have it from their own end. Here he comes. In on the breakaway. Scores! Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up, and he finishes this breakaway beautifully. Toronto's got new life here in this second period, Ray. It's amazing what a goal does. The energy... changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. The Maple Leafs get a hold of it. Couldn't complete the pass. Across the line from center. Maintains possession. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Riley. Hangs on to the puck. Centered out in front. And they can't convert to the play. Inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Shuts him down. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And they can't connect. Made the stop on the play. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. And they're going to drop the gloves, but an unlikely duo here. Yeah, this is a trade-off somewhere. He didn't want the fight. And so he's, he's getting helped out by his teammate for sure. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Oh, that'll do it as they ride him off to the penalty box, each to their own bench to sit for five minutes. I hope he can get a drink of water. Last time in there, the bottle was empty, which really must stink because you're tired and thirsty, and now you get a bowl of dust. You don't miss a thing, do you? No, I, I, I never was in there. Well, yeah, I was in there, and I hated when the bottle was empty. From the left side, they gain the zone. Can't keep a hold of it. The Maple Leafs look to start the transition game. And the officials waving off icing here. Move to the middle. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that's stuff Aisha Sturkin. Ellis works the puck in his own zone. Sends a pass over. The Maple Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Voracek. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Voracek's trying to change this game all by himself. That's not going to work. I mean, I, I don't fault the effort. It's just simple. It's sometimes a lot better. Right out in front. Denies him. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close. He takes away any room. Stays with it. Right in front. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Through center along the wing. Skates to the crease. Point blank stop by Fleury. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside.
And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Toronto's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Penalty coming up here. I'm not sure this is part of the comeback plan, James, but the penalty killers are going to have to do their job and try and waste this penalty away. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And no, he scores! Pretty bold play to get out and score a shorthanded goal. You've really pushed the other team backwards with this marker. Dvorak's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Maple Leafs win the faceoff. Shot on net. Glove saved by the goalie. Shesterkin's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Barkov's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The Maple Leafs will play the puck from behind the net. And he makes the easy save. Toronto's penalty killers get a hold of it. And the puck clears the zone. The Maple Leafs have it behind the net. Sagan's up at the box. Disappointing power play effort as they serve up a shorthanded goal, but both teams down back to even strength. Well, that doesn't go according to plan. The power play's done, and they've given up a shorty. Those are always deflating. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck grab by Gardner. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Fleury's got excellent positioning here to make that stop. I don't think if he's in good shape positionally, he even comes close to this. Denied by the goaltender. Here's a chance out front. There's another stop. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Here's the scoring chance, two on one. Off a stick and they can't connect. Stones him in front. Quick feed to Sagan. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal! Yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. These are fun goals to score. You read that the goaltender's dropping into the butterfly, and you know you're going top shelf. You beat him over the glove, it feels great. The Maple Leafs with the one-goal lead here in the third, and, you know, I'm surprised they haven't gone up with more. They played really well. They've had most of the possession. Now they've got the lead. Nothing should change in their mindset. Carries it across the line. The Leafs grab possession to the puck. The Maple Leafs have it against the wall. Toronto's got possession at center. The Maple Leafs gain possession in their own end. Moves it to Meyer. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. Quick pass to Meyer. Well, there's no time to... He's got a step. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Grabbed along the board by Kane. Makes his presence known on the ice. Great glove save by Shesterkin. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. 
The Maple Leafs are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Yandel's got the puck in his own zone. Takes it from the right side. Puts it on net with the stop. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. That's intercepted. Here they come on the attack. Passes right to the front. Can't connect. Toronto's looking to break out. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. That's not going to fool him. Grabs the puck in the corner. Poked away by Eric Zanek. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Oh, what a save in front. Down the right side and into the zone. Toronto's playing it from the side. Scooped up along the wall by Keller. And now he tries to get it across to Burns. Stops him with the glove. Here's a short pass to Barkov. Great reach with the poke check. And that one's stopped. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Final minute to go here in the third. Takes a shot. And that's stopped by Fleury. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, the face-off becomes critical. In the final moments of this period, just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Now he slides it up to Kane. A shot at the empty net. Scores into the empty net. Well, he shouldn't miss that. I mean, there's <laughs> nobody standing there. Put it in the cage, man. No pressure, right? The Maple Leafs make their way back to center ice, probably breathing a little easier here now, Ray. Pretty much puts this to bed. The empty netter gives them a little bit more of a comfortable lead. Gains the zone from the right. And now it's grabbed by Meyer. Toronto, Scully is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. And that's turned aside. He's saving them again. There's a couple back-to-back -back saves. And there it is. Empty netter. That'll seal it up. Pretty easy one right there for him to cash in. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Toronto's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. It's an on man rush. Two on one. And we are all over with this one. Ray, there was a certain point when this one seemed like it was over, and I think the coach yeah. just didn't seem to want to accept that. Hello, look at the big clock. It cost $10 million. The, lie, the numbers don't lie up there. Once they give up the first empty netter, it's over. You put it back man. in. Put it there, back right? in.